11 Popular Medications That Damage Memory and Brain Have you ever stopped to think that some of the medications you take daily might be harming your memory and brain health? In this video, we will reveal 11 popular medications that, despite being widely used, can cause significant damage to your brain. Watching this video could be a game changer for your mental health. You will learn which medications to avoid or replace, protecting your memory and promoting better brain function. Imagine being able to prevent memory problems simply by making more informed choices about the medications you consume. Have you been having trouble concentrating or remembering important things? Are you worried about the long-term effects of the medications you take? Stay with us and find out if any of these medications are affecting your life and what you can do about it. And stay until the end because medication number 10 is used by millions of people who have no idea of the danger they're in. Important. We have listed all the references used to create this video in the description for you to access whenever you want. Let's get started. How common medications can sabotage your brain. Many medications we take to treat common conditions can have unexpected side effects, including negative impacts on memory and brain function. These effects can range from mild confusion and difficulty concentrating to more severe problems like long-term memory loss and cognitive impairment. Medications that affect memory and the brain usually work by interfering with neurotransmitters, chemicals in the brain that transmit signals between nerve cells. For example, some medications can lower acetylcholine levels, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. Others can increase cortisol levels, a stress hormone that, in excess, can damage the hippocampus, the area of the brain responsible for forming new memories. Additionally, prolonged use of certain medications can lead to structural changes in the brain. This can include a reduction in the volume of the hippocampus and other regions critical for cognitive function. It's also important to consider that the brain naturally ages over time, and using medications that affect memory can accelerate this brain aging process, increasing the risk of dementia and other neurodegenerative diseases. Therefore, it is essential to be informed about the possible side effects of the medications you take. Discussing these risks with your doctor can help find safer alternatives or adjust dosages to minimize negative impacts. This video will detail the 11 most common medications that may be harming your memory and brain health, helping you make more informed decisions about your treatment. 11 Popular Medications That Damage Memory and Brain Medication 1. Diazepam, Valium, the calming agent that can steal your memories. The first medication that can damage memory and the brain is diazepam, commercially known as Valium. Diazepam is a benzodiazepine frequently prescribed to treat anxiety, insomnia, and seizures. While effective for these conditions, prolonged use can lead to serious memory and cognitive problems. Benzodiazepines work by increasing the activity of the neurotransmitter GABA, gamma-aminobutyric acid, which has a calming effect on the brain. While this helps relieve anxiety and induce sleep, it can also interfere with the formation of new memories. Studies have shown that prolonged use of diazepam is associated with an increased risk of dementia, even after stopping the medication. One of the main side effects of diazepam is anterograde amnesia, a condition where the patient has difficulty forming new memories. This can be particularly concerning for elderly people, whose risk of cognitive decline is naturally higher. Additionally, diazepam can cause sedation, confusion, and lack of coordination, all of which can broadly impair brain function. Alternatives to diazepam include other classes of medications, such as antidepressants or cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety and insomnia. These options may offer similar relief without the same risks to memory and brain health. If you are taking diazepam, it is crucial to discuss with your doctor the possibility of reducing the dose or exploring alternative treatments to minimize these risks. Medication 2. Amitriptyline, Elevil, the antidepressant that can erase your memories. Amitriptyline, commercially known as Elevil, is a tricyclic antidepressant used to treat depression, migraines, and chronic pain. While effective for these conditions, amitriptyline can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline work by increasing levels of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. However, they can also block acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. This can lead to side effects like confusion, difficulty concentrating, and memory loss. In addition to its effects on memory, Amitriptyline can cause drowsiness, sedation, and dizziness, which can affect cognitive function more broadly. These effects are particularly concerning for elderly individuals, 
who are already at higher risk of cognitive decline. Long-term use of amitriptyline can increase the risk of dementia and other neurodegenerative problems. To minimize these risks, it is important to discuss possible alternatives to amitriptyline with your doctor. There are other antidepressants, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, which may have less impact on memory and cognitive function. Additionally, non-pharmacological therapies, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, can be effective options for treating depression and other conditions without the same risks to the brain. Medication 3. Atropine. The memory blocker. Atropine is a medication used to treat a variety of conditions, including bradycardia, slow heart rate, pesticide poisoning, and pupil dilation during eye exams. While effective for these conditions, atropine can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory. Atropine works by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. This can lead to several side effects, including confusion, hallucinations, and memory loss. These effects are particularly concerning at high doses or with prolonged use. In addition to its effects on memory, atropine can cause drowsiness, dry mouth, blurred vision, and difficulty urinating, which can broadly affect quality of life. In elderly individuals, the use of atropine can increase the risk of delirium and cognitive decline, making it a risky choice for this age group. To minimize the risks associated with atropine use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use less harmful alternatives to memory and cognitive function. For example, in cases of bradycardia, other medications that do not block acetylcholine may be considered. Medication 4. Oxybutynin, Ditropan. The urinary relief that can harm your brain. Oxybutynin, commercially known as Ditropan, is a medication used to treat urinary incontinence and overactive bladder. While effective for these conditions, Oxybutynin can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Oxybutynin works by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. This can lead to several side effects, including confusion, difficulty concentrating, and memory loss. Studies have shown that prolonged use of oxybutynin is associated with an increased risk of dementia, especially in elderly individuals. In addition to its effects on memory, Oxybutynin can cause dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision, and difficulty urinating, which can broadly affect quality of life. In elderly individuals, these side effects can be even more pronounced, increasing the risk of delirium and cognitive decline. To minimize the risks associated with oxybutynin use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use less harmful alternatives to memory and cognitive function. For example, other medications for overactive bladder that do not block acetylcholine may be considered. Medication 5. Paroxetine, Paxil. The antidepressant that can sabotage your memories. Paroxetine, commercially known as Paxil, is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, SSRI, antidepressant used to treat depression, anxiety disorders, and obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD. While effective for these conditions, paroxetine can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. SSRIs like paroxetine work by increasing serotonin levels in the brain, which helps improve mood and relieve depression and anxiety symptoms. However, paroxetine can also interfere with acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning, leading to side effects like confusion, difficulty concentrating, and memory loss. In addition to its effects on memory, paroxetine can cause drowsiness, dizziness, dry mouth, and sexual dysfunction, which can broadly affect quality of life. In elderly individuals, the use of paroxetine can increase the risk of cognitive decline and dementia, making it a risky choice for this age group. To minimize the risks associated with paroxetine use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use other antidepressants that have less impact on memory and cognitive function, such as sertraline or acetylopram. Medication 6. Clonazepam. Clonopin, the anti-anxiety pill that can erase your memories. Clonazepam, commercially known as clonopin, is a benzodiazepine used to treat anxiety disorders, epilepsy, and sleep disorders. While effective for these conditions, prolonged use of clonazepam can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Benzodiazepines like clonazepam work by increasing the activity of the neurotransmitter GABA, 
gamma-aminobutyric acid, which has a calming effect on the brain. While this helps relieve anxiety and control seizures, it can also interfere with the formation of new memories. Studies have shown that prolonged use of clonazepam is associated with an increased risk of dementia, even after stopping the medication. One of the main side effects of clonazepam is anterograde amnesia, a condition where the patient has difficulty forming new memories. This can be particularly concerning for elderly individuals, whose risk of cognitive decline is naturally higher. Additionally, clonazepam can cause sedation, confusion, and lack of coordination, all of which can broadly impair brain function. Alternatives to clonazepam include other classes of medications, such as anticonvulsants or antidepressants, to treat anxiety and epilepsy. Non-pharmacological therapies, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, can also be effective in controlling anxiety without the same risks to memory and brain health. Medication 7. Scopolamine. The anti-nausea pill that can disorient your brain. Scopolamine is a medication used to prevent nausea and vomiting caused by motion sickness and postoperative conditions. While effective for these conditions, scopolamine can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Scopolamine works by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. This can lead to several side effects, including confusion, hallucinations, and memory loss. These effects are particularly concerning at high doses or with prolonged use. In addition to its effects on memory, scopolamine can cause drowsiness, dry mouth, blurred vision, and difficulty urinating, which can broadly affect quality of life. In elderly individuals, the use of scopolamine can increase the risk of delirium and cognitive decline, making it a risky choice for this age group. To minimize the risks associated with scopolamine use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use less harmful alternatives to memory and cognitive function. For example, other medications for motion sickness that do not block acetylcholine may be considered. Medication 8. Phenytoin, Dilantin, the anticonvulsant that can destabilize your brain. Phenytoin, commercially known as Dilantin, is an anticonvulsant used to control epileptic seizures. While effective for this condition, phenytoin can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Anticonvulsants like phenytoin work by stabilizing electrical activity in the brain to prevent seizures. However, phenytoin can also interfere with memory and cognitive function, leading to side effects like confusion, difficulty concentrating, and memory loss. Studies have shown that prolonged use of phenytoin is associated with an increased risk of cognitive decline and memory problems. In addition to its effects on memory, phenytoin can cause drowsiness, dizziness, blurred vision, and difficulty walking, which can broadly affect quality of life. In elderly individuals, these side effects can be even more pronounced, increasing the risk of falls and injuries. To minimize the risks associated with phenytoin use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use other anticonvulsants that have less impact on memory and cognitive function, such as levetiracetam or lamotrigine. Medication 9. Benztropine, Cogentin, the Parkinson's medication that can harm your memories. Benztropine, commercially known as Cogentin, is a medication used to treat symptoms of Parkinson's disease and side effects of antipsychotic medications. While effective for these conditions, benztropine can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Benztropine works by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. This can lead to several side effects, including confusion, hallucinations, and memory loss. These effects are particularly concerning at high doses or with prolonged use. In addition to its effects on memory, benztropine can cause dry mouth, blurred vision, constipation, and difficulty urinating, which can broadly affect quality of life. In elderly individuals, the use of benztropine can increase the risk of delirium and cognitive decline, making it a risky choice for this age group. To minimize the risks associated with benztropine use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use less harmful alternatives to memory and cognitive function, such as other medications for Parkinson's disease that do not block acetylcholine. Medication 10. Zolpidem, Ambien, the sedative that can destroy your memory. Zolpidem, commercially known as Ambien, is a medication used to treat insomnia. While effective for inducing sleep, 
Zolpidem can have significant side effects on the brain, especially concerning memory and cognitive function. Zolpidem can cause anterograde amnesia, a condition where the patient has difficulty forming new memories. Additionally, it can cause drowsiness, confusion, and complex sleep behaviors, such as walking or eating, without later recollection. These effects are concerning, especially for elderly individuals or those who need to be alert during the day. To minimize the risks associated with Zolpidem use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. Alternatives to Zolpidem include other approaches to treat insomnia, such as sleep hygiene and relaxation techniques. Medication 11, Diphenhydramine, Benadryl, the antihistamine that can damage your brain. Diphenhydramine, commercially known as Benadryl, is an antihistamine used to treat allergies and occasional insomnia. However, prolonged use can have negative effects on memory and cognitive function. Diphenhydramine works by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter crucial for memory and learning. This can lead to confusion, difficulty concentrating, and memory loss. In elderly individuals, prolonged use of diphenhydramine is associated with an increased risk of dementia. To minimize the risks associated with diphenhydramine use, it is important to discuss the appropriate dosage and duration of treatment with your doctor. In some cases, it may be possible to use less harmful alternatives to memory and cognitive function. For example, other medications for allergies or sleep hygiene techniques that do not block acetylcholine may be considered. To protect your memory and brain health, it is essential to be aware of the medications you consume and discuss safe alternatives with your doctor. Small changes can make a big difference in preserving your cognitive function and promoting a better quality of life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.